Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Lunar, the Silver Star story complete. Let's go ahead and leave and make our way to Vane. So we're going to ambush by uh, some uh, bandits along the way. Alex, to reach the city of Vane, we have to use this spring of transmission. Uh, we just follow this path to the south until we reach it. What's with the big smile on your face, Nash? You'll understand soon enough, Cat. Just keep your eyes on the sky. Keep watching the skies. Nope, nothing up there. I mean, we're not going south yet. I guess now we are. It's a odd little field of glittering. Is that supposed to be ice? I don't know what that is supposed to be. Behold, the magic city of Vane. I, I don't see it yet. Oh, well, there it is. That's kind of neat, I guess. It's really pointy on the bottom. I don't see any fences there. there. That's not OSHA compliant. The magic city of Vane circles around the goddess tower in an endless protective orbit. It is said to shield the goddess Althena from harm. So can we come over here instead then? This is the great shrine to the goddess of beauty and love. What is your business here? Uh, we'd like to rest. Ah, I feel much better. Thanks, lady. We owe our very lives to the kindness of goddess Althena. Althena bathes our world in a light of beauty and love. Goddess of beauty and love, huh? I bet she's a real cutie. Jessica's still an apprentice, but she took off from the shrine to see her friends. She would make an excellent priest if she applied herself instead of being irresponsible. Jessica's a lot different than her father described her. Do you seek to become the next Dragon Master, young man? The Dragon Master is a protector of the goddess Althena, and thus a friend to all who serve her. Does that mean you're going to help us out? Oh, no. I must remain here to protect the shrine. Too bad. I wouldn't mind a little adventure. Goddess Althena is the source of all kinds of magical power. If Althena's power weakens, the world will be shrouded in darkness and monsters will rule the land. Don't worry, as long as Vane is in the sky, Althena shall never weaken. That's that's good. I'm sure that will be fine then. Priests who serve the goddess Althena are blessed with the most sacred of all magics. The ability to hear it, heal injury and illness with the power of the goddess's blessing. Luna could do the same thing with her songs. A singer with the power to heal? In all of my years as a priest, I've never heard such a thing. You must be mistaken. You know, or maybe you're wrong, sir. Jessica looked so happy when she left. It struck me as strange since she was only go going to see someone she called a childhood friend. Maybe she really liked her childhood friend. There's nothing wrong with that. So apparently we're not going to get to see uh, this uh, Jessica person, huh? I hear the goddess Althena is so beautiful that men cannot gaze upon her without falling hopelessly and permanently in love. But her voice is supposed to be even more beautiful. I'm sure she could sing, but as good as Luna? I don't think so. No, you're so silly. Athena dwells in the goddess tower atop the mountain upon which it is built. I've never seen her, of course. You couldn't reach the tower unless you could fly. Should I go take a look, Alex? <laughs> I don't think your tiny wings could get you all the way up there, Nal. Uh, yeah, but he, Nal could rest along the way. Sis said she'd be back soon. What's taking her so long? Sis, I didn't know Master Mel had two daughters. I don't think he does. Welcome to my house. Would you kids like some blue, some blueberry pie, fresh baked and delish? 
This priest seems a bit loopy, Alex. Do you think he recently took a blow to the head? Facia is very kind, but she also has extreme pride in herself and her accomplishments. I think she believes herself to be much like Goddess Althena. Anyway, the head priestess is away at the moment. I suggest you return later. That is a very big goddess statue. Aw, oh, look, she's holding a banana. She must li really like her potassium. Okay, so there's nothing we can do here yet. The place is so much louder than it is out here. <laughs> Just how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I really want to know! It's not me, you idiot! It's a dumb owl that does that! Jeez! I like you, sir. I appreciate your reference. Who are you? Wait, you're Nash, the star pupil of Galleon. I knew I was becoming famous, but this is almost embarrassing. Almost. May I use the spring of transmission, sir? Of course, but that doesn't apply to these others. They're my friends, sir. I assure you that they are most worthy of ascending to vain. I'm sorry, Nash, but they're not. Rumors abound that the Magic Emperor himself roams the land. Thus, Lemia Alsa has placed quite stringent rules into effect. The only people allowed to use a spring other than citizens of Vane are those who obtain an application for the Magic Guild from Facia. I didn't realize those rumors were being taken so seriously. I guess you aren't as famous as you thought, Nash. Still your tongue, Cat. Not even Galleon himself would defy the word of Lemia Alsa. Facia lives in Althena's shrine, at the foot of the mountains, to the west, a short walk away. Okay, so I guess we have to go through, go over there, maybe she'll be back now. Up and down there. Uh, one interesting thing about the uh, world map here is that it is not as tile-based as so many others. I don't know how it is in the Sega CD version. Um... But yeah, like, I mean, maybe they're just really big tiles. I mean, there and there are some tiling things, like that, this bit of forest right here is the same as up here, and over here, and here, but, you know, like the mountains, they're not small tiles. I find that interesting. All right, so is Facia back? Uh, we should pray. The goddess Althena will smile upon you wherever you may go. Oh, I know. Alright, face you back. Oh, game took over. Thanks. Alex, I'll speak with Facey. Wait right here. Is she around? I wonder what Facey looks like, Alex. But if she works for Althena, she must be cute. Are you blushing, Alex? That's some hair. Good day to you all. I am Facia, head priestess of the Temple of the Goddess. I have received word that you are on a journey to become the new Dragon Master, Alex. I pray that you choose to stay in vain and become the guardian of Althena, for as you know, we haven't had a Dragon Master since the days of Dine came to an end. Yeah, we know that. That is some hair. Since Dragon Master Dine's passing, no one man has proven worthy of the title. But have many men together proved, proven themselves worthy? I mean, would that be such a bad thing if a squad of men became a collective Dragon Master? That's not what you meant at all, is it? Okay, fair enough. Perhaps you would be better served to study the ways of magic in vain, Alex. That is a much more certain path to success than trying to become Dragon Master. But Alex doesn't want to enter the Magic Guild. He's looking for the three remaining dragons. Quark sent him. 
Becoming a Dragon Master is much more difficult than you might imagine, young Alex. It's almost as if it will require a whole game. Again, why not stay in vain for a while and see all that the guild has to offer? You might find a career in magic more rewarding and much less dangerous. And don't forget that two of the four heroes call Vane their home. She's right, Alex. You'll never find a more exciting place than Vane. And while you're, you'd never be as skilled with magic as I am, I'm sure you'd enjoy learning it nonetheless. I don't know, Alex. At least think about it, Alex. Please accept this application form and at least visit Vane. God application. It is heartening to know that even as the Vile Tribe moves close to our borders... The Vile Tribe, huh? There are brave heroes such as yourself willing to protect us. Take care, Alex. I wish you success on whichever path you choose to travel. Excuse me, Luna, was it? I'm told that your singing is absolutely wonderful. There's nothing the goddess loves more than a beautiful song. You must return and sing for me someday soon. I I'd be honored, Facia. But I still need a lot of practice first. I look forward to your return, Luna, as well as the sweet sound of your voice. Return here whenever you seek guidance or rest, children. I will pray to the goddess to keep you safe and make you strong. May the goddess Althena shower you with her blessings. You're traveling to Bane with Facia's blessing? I have to admit I'm surprised. You children don't look like magicians to me. That's probably why Facia is head priestess and your chief bootlicker. I want to play the organ. Look, she's, she's hugging a banana. I mean, it's a big banana. A lot of potassium in that. You need a big bowl of cereal to put the slices in, though. Alrighty. Let's head up to Vane now. Oh, dang it. He does say something different. Let's, uh, let's see that. All right, why do M&Ms melt in your mouth, but not in your hand? The, the candy shell, of course. Don't they teach you peasants anything? I mean, the thick candy shell can definitely melt in your hand. Hello again, Nash. Do you have ap have the application for your friends? Of course, here you go. Gave application. Thank you, Nash. I assume you've told your friends of the trial. First time you travel to Vane, you'll be tested in the Cave of Trial. It's basically an entrance exam to keep magic-fearing peasants out of Vane. Anyway, I have to run. What? Aren't you going with us, Nash? I'm an apprentice of Galleon, remember? I have things to do. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll be waiting for you at the Magic Guild. Good luck! Alex, you don't know much about magic, so how are we going to do this? Alex is good with a sword, and I can use my songs. We'll be fine now. Let's go, Alex. Vane waits. Okay. Whee! This is a cave of trial. This labyrinth is a sacred place for testing your magical strength. Thus, the use of healing or other items in the cave is forbidden. You must survive using nothing but your own abilities. When you have defeated enough monsters and exited the other side, the trial is concluded. But wait a second, aren't... <laughs> aren't the priests the only ones who can use uh, healing? So in other words, everyone else has to get through here without needing healing. Seems bad. Can I can I look at that? No, apparently not. All right, let's fight you. Let's see what the enemies have to offer here. Death a shroom. Ow! 
Alright, they don't have a whole lot of hit points, but they have a lot of, uh, they do a lot of damage. 200 silver is pretty good, though. Alright. Up we go. Let's see. Where am I now? Over here. I guess I'll fight you. Nope. Okay, the ones about to do a special thing are dead. Nice miss. Nice. Need you to level up a little bit more, Luna. Actually, I don't think we're getting that much XP here. Getting a lot of money, which is nice. No, 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 leave me alone. Ah, dang it. <laughs> dang, that guy's fast. Slumber Moth and Gunfoot. I don't like the idea of a slumber moth. Let's see what the gunfoot does. Dang it. Didn't put her to sleep, at least. Sorcery light. Rude. Yeah, if you have to move really far, you don't always get a uh, second attack. Okay, so I think that that guy needs to die first. 250 silver. Get a quick save. Or maybe a not so quick save, because <laughs> does uh it is kinda slow. Alright, slumber moths. Alright, are those guys back there close enough? No. We'll see how this goes. Sleeping powder. That's fine. That's a lot of damage. Interesting uh, plant roots here. I've got another gun foot. Okay, how about sword dance on you? Probably makes sense that that didn't work. Uh, go ahead and get some healing on him. Good. So we're not going to take extra damage for my uh, dawdling on killing this guy. Of 
course, if uh, Luna can't kill him anyway, then there's no real point. I thought that was a monster for a second there, which is why I turned back. It would be much tougher from here on. You'd better prepare yourself. I can heal your injuries once and only once if you desire. Uh, not yet. Return here when you desire to heal your wounds. Yeah, we do not need that right now. It's probably a good uh, idea to actually fight everything then. If we can go back here and get some healing. Nice critical. We'll fight you. I'm trying to figure out which ones are going to be doing the uh, sleep powder and which ones aren't. Like, there's a difference in what they're doing, but. Like, it's just, it, it's not like a different, uh, speed, it's just a different cycle. I don't know. Ow? Okay, so, ah, oh, rude. And keep doing sleeping powder, that's okay. Let's, uh, see what we have down here. Hello? So I'll have to keep in mind that guy and head back and get some healing. But we might as well kill everything around here. I'm getting a lot of money, though. Like, yeah, 6,000 silver already. Then again, that probably indicates that uh, stuff is going to be extremely expensive coming up. That's, uh, that's going to be my guess. No. Ugh. I don't- I don't need critical hits from you, Alex. Save those for Luna, please. Ow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Need to heal up Luna in a moment. 31 damage, jeez. I actually don't know how this is- that XP is comparing to, like, the, uh, sewers that we're in. Let's get some healing. You're new. That is not a chest that I can open. That is... Huh. Wow. That thing just ran away. I think that's a, um... I think that thing is essentially a metal slime. If I remember correctly. Like, it would be worth a lot of XP and stuff if I could have killed it, but... I could not. But, we'll have to come back here eventually. <gasps> Hello. I know you're there. You try to kill me. Uh, let's go with... Not that. 
Sword dance on you. Take you out. Whoa, don't do that. <laughs> I was like, ah, I just button mashed through the end and forgot that it was gonna stick with what I was on. Let's, let's be a little more careful. A little bit more careful in those situations. I'll fight you in a moment. I wanted the money first. Now I'll fight you. Just force him to chase after me. Okay. Sword dance on you. Okay, that's okay. It's not ideal. Okay, death spore is just poison. Well, I'm already poisoned, it doesn't matter. Ow! Well. I mean, we survived, that's a pretty close thing. Alex gained a level, three hit points, some MP, two attack, one defense, two agility, two wisdom, one magic endurance. Any level for Luna? Uh, four hit points, six MP, one attack, one defense, one agility, two wisdom, two magic endurance. No, uh, no attacks, unfortunately. I guess it's okay. Hey, you guys must be newcomers. I can help you get out of the caves. All you have to do is ask me how. Alex, if he's such a genius, why is he still down here? Don't trust him. Take my advice and I'll have you out of here in an instant. Alex, like I said before, this guy's full of it. Yeah, he probably is. No, you don't want to come up here? Okay. <gasps> Hello, please allow me to introduce myself. This cave's not my bag, baby. Would you uh, swinging cats know the way out? Please allow myself to correct yourself. I am not a cat. Go on, blimey. Your cat flies and talks. Smash it, baby. Tell the truth, baby. Do I make you Randy? Is that a reference to uh, Austin Powers? Was that out when this came out? I don't remember when it came out, to be honest. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, it's, uh... Very obscure reference for someone playing the game today. Well, maybe not very obscure, but... I've been told about how confusing the cave was, but I won't give up now. I'm going to become a great wizard and make my parents proud of me. I'm sure they already are. You're a great inspiration. I know I'm close to the end. A few more twists and turns and I'll be there. Hello. Go ahead and fight you a little bit. I just want to study magic. I'm scared stiff of this place. Wait, I know. I'll cast a spell on myself to be brave. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Well, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. The next level of the cave has monsters much stronger than the ones you've faced so far. 
And do you need magical refreshment for the final stage of your journey? Uh, no, we're fine. My offer still stands. Return to me if you find yourself in need of healing. Oh, there's two of them. I guess that's how uh, wizards do it. All right, but uh, that's going to wrap up this episode. When we come back next time, we'll continue through the cave. Uh, I'm actually feeling okay on, on stuff. Uh, I think there's going to be a boss fight, but I'm not positive. Uh, I'll take a look just to verify it. Uh, see if I can figure out for sure. Anyway, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.